from here. So it would be the same steps for if you're going to add a business recipient. So it would be, you know, a vendor or a supplier. So again, the same process. Um, create recipient under recipients on the payments, then recipients, then create payments. And this time we're going to select business. This is, again, it's for a business customer. So in this purpose, you're going to see the screen changes a little bit. So you're going to see the company name again here. And so what's required here now is the company name, the recipient ID, again, the account type, account number, and currency. And again, a list of the banks below. So again, we're going to put a demo again for the name of the company. Uh, the recipient ID is just to help you to identify the the recipient, the business recipient in your list of recipients. It's really, really for ease of reference. All right. So again, we can say um, we would pay. Um, what can I use? I said that he gives send, he sells me lumber. So I'm going to use that as my recipient ID. Again, if you want to, you can input the the address of the your vendor or supplier and um, email address and so forth to get a complete profile. We're going to stick to the mandatory fields here. So again, we're going to select the account type. So we're going to select checking this time. And again, put in an account number. And again, the currency. So we're going to scroll on from the options there. Again, you'll see there are banks available on the platform. And this time we're going to stick to Scotia Center. So our customer is a Scotia Center customer. And as you can see again, the bank information populates once you've selected the branch. And you're going to see, you're seeing the branch name, the SWIFT code, the ABA number, which identifies that branch and the address of the branch. Again, just again to review, just to make sure all the relevant fields are, are populated. Then we move to the submit button. We're again given an opportunity to review. Again, just to make sure everything is correct is very important because it may lead to, if you know, some, God forbid something that happened, you have to do, do um, it with an incorrect uh, account and so forth. So we're trying to do our best to avoid that. At the bottom here is again, you're being, uh, you're being asked to input your password and your token value, as was demonstrated earlier. All right, so we have added our receipt.